My name is Yusuf Haddad. And I'm an Israeli Arab. I'm a disabled IDF veteran. Everybody got the reason. Everybody got the way. I was uh, born in Haifa. I am 33 years old. We moved to Nazareth. Uh, my father is a priest. So I had Jewish friends, Muslim friends, Druze, and of course Christian friends. So I grew up with the Israeli society, the whole Israeli society. But we used to play football together, yeah. I actually was a midfield player, defender midfield player, so I, uh, my, my target was to defend, uh, like we do in Israel, to defend the, the country. So we do the same thing in the, in the team. <laughs> A suicide bomber came to Maxim restaurant in Haifa. Uh, she blew up the restaurant, uh, killing 17 people. Four of them are uh, Israeli Arabs. So I understand that it doesn't matter if you're a Jewish or Arab, as long as you are Israeli, you are uh, a target for a terrorist organization. Um, and, and eventually we are all Israelis. And this is my country. I knew that my decision to join the army and to serve in the Golani Brigade was the best uh, choice I could have, uh, could have taken. Golani, Golani, Shelly, Golani, Shelly. Golani, once you're stepping inside this unit, it doesn't matter if you're Druze, Arab, Jews, doesn't matter what type of Jews you are, huh? Ashkenaz, Mizra, it doesn't matter. Once you're in, one minute, two minutes maximum later, you are part of the big, an amazing family called the Gulani family. The Second Lebanon War, following the abduction of soldiers Ehud Goldwasser and Eldad Regev, the IDF embarks on a campaign. The Second Lebanon War. I lost uh, seven friends, three commanders, two of my, ch my uh, soldiers. I lost some of my friends because they said, treat him first. This is Gulani. Wakeline was my commander, and Wakeline decided to jump on a grenade and save his crew. If I needed to save my soldiers, to save my friends, that's the first thing I will do. Not only me, everyone in Golani will do. Everyone. You wouldn't do anything for your family? You wouldn't do anything for your father, your mother, your brothers? I am only 20 and they are 18, 19. Maybe one year different. But this is what's so amazing about the IDF. This is what's so amazing about our Israeli society. If anything will happen to my soldiers and I can save them instead of uh, and, and giving my life, it's obvious. The answer is yes. We are Golani. In the Second Lebanon War, uh, 2006, the 10th of August, Hezbollah uh, launched a rocket. It passed me. I flew in there and landed on uh, my belly. Uh, I understood that I was injured. I turned on my back, and I understand that uh, my foot was cut off. Um, I had the blood coming from my face because of shrapnel who cut my face. Uh, I was also injured in my left leg. I start shouting, my foot was cut off, my foot was cut off. And my first thought was, oh my God, what I'm going to say to my mom now? And I'm imagining here, in my mind, I'm telling you literally, I was injured. Blood, I feel it comes, and I'm, in, I'm imagining her face I told you not to get injured. Doctor on the field, I hear him in the communication and he says, uh, so there is two options. Either you come and take him now and everything's okay, or you can come at uh, afternoon uh, at the tank balance and take the body. And he was serious about it. And, and I, I actually heard everything. It's terrifying. <laughs> it's terrifying. But I'm strong. It's funny because you plan uh, your life and then God comes and uh, have other plans for you. Everything was cut off. Not only my foot, huh? but my plans. So the doctor tells me, uh, what's your father's number? I call him. I say, no way. I call. And he gave me the phone and said, Dad, I'm injured, but I'm okay. No, totally lie, huh? but I wanted him to hear me like this. I asked my mom to tell me her point of view of the story. And she said they were at home. And when my, pa my father picked the phone, and my father is a tough, tough person. She said, I never saw him so, so much white 
like this. It turned out to be white. I, I follow, I follow you About the rehabilitation, I can tell you that I had a, two fights. One physical fight and one mentally. Mentally fight was even harder. I will limp. And I always said that I will play football. So my doctor came to me and he told me, listen, you get your hopes too much. I don't want you to be disappointed. We think you're, it's a miracle. They, they, they actually managed to attach my, my own foot back. There is nothing here, it's only mine. And they said that this is already some miracle. So for us, we see that you're gonna limp, which is an amazing rehabilitation. I said, I'm not going to limp, I'm going to play for One year later, I entered the office of, the, um, uh, of my doctor. I didn't even say anything. I just entered with a football and I started jumping the ball in my leg, with my leg. When I play uh, football, it's... I, after, uh, after that, I can't walk for about two, three hours. Like, if you take a rope and you cut it, you put it back together, it's not the same thing. It's shorter. You have your home. When you come here, it's like a second home to support each other. It gives you hope. It gives you uh, energy. And this is what this place is full of. We are a uh, Beta Luchem football team. Each and every one of those players is a champion. Because to play football after you've been suffered such a terrible injury, war injury, not a sport injury, and to overcome that, to take a champion here in Israel, in your own district, playing not disabled people, huh? Just let me to make sure you understand. We played not disabled uh, teams, and we won, and we took the champion. We are the champions. Eran Zahabi was Ali Yusuf. Yusuf Rajal Eran Zahabi, Eran Zahabi, Batin Munas Dabur. Wow! Munas Dabur, Ramad Sattash was Ali Yusuf, Yusuf Drum. Goal! Wow! Hat of the Munta of Israel! Oh, I beg you. My goal is to help my society, the Israeli Arab society, and my country. So I established the organization together vouch for, for each other. I hope that one day everyone will feel part of this amazing country because we have an amazing country. But you know what? Mostly, I just hope to be human beings. Amen.